Welcome to my very first Going Medieval Let's Play my fellow gamers. I have started a totally new playthrough on a valley map in the survival mode with 10 settlers which I min-maxed for combat, mining and all the other skills necessary for building or to be more precise digging an underground village. You can thank my mother-in-law for this let's play as I would not have had the chance to record it had she not come to town and freed up some time from my busy lifestyle primarily raising our son Victor. So here it is episode 1 appropriately named starting an underground village. If you have any suggestions for me, please post them in the comments and to see my guides and tutorials, check out the playlist linked up here and in the description. So the very first thing I do when I load up a new game is to scout out the map. For example, in this map, which I already scouted out just not to waste too much of your time, I saw that this area here has practically the best positioning and best starting resources. I have plenty of the red current shops here, here and some more here, possibly some more beneath this forest, uh, I'm not sure, maybe. Anyway, I have the clay piles, I have some limestone here, clay, iron, so all three resources which I need to dig out are right next to each other. I have plenty of space here for my plan to dig underneath and have an underground village. I have some fields of tall grass and most importantly for the start I do have some mushrooms here, here, here and I think I saw some mushrooms down here somewhere, maybe not. But in any event this place has everything plus it is on a hill that's practically surrounded by other hills through here and over here so I can control access to it. First of all I don't actually start playing so I'm still paused. Second of all, I need to make sure that every villager has his proper job. I can start with the Manage tab, the Schedule tab or the Jobs tab, but I'm going to start with Manage this time. First of all, I wanted to pick up these weapons, so that is why I need to make sure that they are managed as when it comes to their weapons, shields, apparel, armor and so on. So I need to check for this person, for this villager. Marksman is just 5 and melee is 13. This means a melee one-handed weapon plus a shield. Next one has marksman 17. This obviously means a ranged weapon and that's gonna be a longbow, so no shields. Next one is mostly melee with a little, no, zero marksman, so definitely a melee weapon. Let's say two-handed. Next one has marksman 6, melee 3, so definitely melee 1 as well. Next one, marksman 9, so that one is going to use a ranged weapon. This one has marksman 7, melee 11, so melee weapon, let's say two-handed this time. Sarah has marksman 2, melee 18, so let's say melee one-handed plus a shield. This guy has marksman 11, so again a candidate for a longbow, ranged weapon. And this one has me low melee and practically no marksman. So he is kind of the odd ship in here. He's not going to do much good in the melee fight. We'll give him melee one-handed weapon and perhaps shield if I even have enough shields. I think I do. So I'll give him a shield as well. And this one has nine, zero marksman but heavy melee. So once again, let's say melee two-handed. If I actually have enough two-handed weapons, we'll see once they pick them up. I'm going to give the persons who are using the melee weapons they are armors, so armor for this guy, armor for this one, this one is also melee, armor, ranged, no armor, armor, armor here as well, ranged, no, melee, armor, and melee, armor. Now I do have a lot of short bows, so I could turn the person that was with the low melee and no marksman, although he had zero marksman, so that's not really going to help him. Yeah. Melee one handed. Yeah, I'm gonna leave him as melee one handed. So that is all the gear that they're going to put on, so they do not have to actually hold this over to the stockpile at my next place where I'm going to build my base. They are just gonna be equipped. Next up, schedule. Because leisure time consists of entertainment and religion, there's no point in placing leisure time on their schedule now because neither do I have shrines nor the tables for them to play games. So work across the board, and then I will just copy this. To everybody else and that will be their first day so without entertainment or religion and no leisure time at all. Lastly jobs. This also takes a while to do. For example I have to check this person is good with construction so that's going to be one. He's a good melee fighter. 
he is a bad smith and an excellent tailor. So tailor one. Next up, this one, construction and culinary. So construction and cooking. Next, marksman. So he's going to be the hunter. Now I'm going to use once for everything for their main skills and then later I'm going to reduce some, increase some just to make sure that everybody is doing their job but to start you off and not to spend half an hour in the screen I'm going to just use once on their best skills. So construction once again that's going to be one, mining one and that's about it for this guy. Next one is the intellectual so research for him. That's one. Over here we have mining and some smithing and botany. So we are going to go with grow at one, harvest at one, cut plants at one, and what was it? Mining? Mining at one. Next one says mining also very high. So one for that. And uh, maybe medicine. I think I actually have a person who is the medicine specialized here we go medicine 20 so this one will be the one who is going to have 10 as their highest priority now going back to this one i think that was it just mining and there is some botany here so that would be like a two for growing harvesting and cutting plants actually i think i missed one that was construction so construction over here to one she's also good with medicine so tend one and that would be about it botany i'll increase that if i need to next person has botany so that to two that was mining actually cutting plants to two i think i again did construction instead of harvesting that's better culinary meaning cooking at one and that's basically it the one before last, carpentry, so one for him here. What else is he good at? Construction and smithing. Smithing, okay, so one here and construction one. And the last person is best at medicine, melee, mining. He can, She can learn mining. And what else? Well, that's about it of their main stats. Now, the one important thing to look at are the traits. There are specific people in this group which have the botany perk and that one is very useful for the people who are going to do growing, harvesting and cutting plants. Because as you can see here, harvest amount increase. Now some people have noticed that apparently this does nothing. I'm not sure is it a bug or a current problem with the version of the game, but I usually play as if they're going to harvest more. For some reason I do think they do harvest more but we can check that during the last play and they also fail less. So this person has a green thumb so he is going to be our main person for botany and he also has nighting on botany. I am not sure. Yeah I do actually have another person so she has that perk as well. So her botany skill and her jobs should be increased to one. But this is now going and this one too, so growing and harvesting to one. And that's, oh, actually this one has that as well. But her botany skill is kind of low at four. So even though she does have this, it will be good to use when these guys are busy with something else. So there is a lot more here. For example, I would go and look at carpentry being zero and I would downgrade this to without a number, meaning that this person would never do this. But like I said, that would require another half an hour spent in the screen. And I'm sure you're itching for me to actually start doing something besides just looking at these screens. So that was the manage screen, the schedule screen and the job screen, which we do have to edit a little bit more just to make sure that everything runs smoothly. Now, finally, let's move all of our supplies over here once they actually get those weapons equipped. What we need first is a stockpile, which I won't really edit. I'm just going to use it and place it over here, a huge stockpile. So I'm pretty much going to allow them to place everything there. And I'm just going to go to speed three. They should start equipping. Okay, right. This part is the annoying part. You have to allow everything before they can actually use it. I tend to usually forget this part. It's a good thing you can double click on 
an item and then enable all similar items but it's also annoying because there are just so many especially when you start your own game which you edited and chose what to bring now they should be equipping everything there we go and they'll take the rest of the supplies up over here to the stockpile now we can of course pause again because i'm sorry but that's how i play and check out what do we have here to work with i am going to not use too much hay except for the beds and i already have a, like a hundred and beds are going to take 15 hay each 10 beds that's 150 hay meaning i only need to harvest two more of these ripe ones to have enough for 10 beds the worst possible beds that is now one thing that i do have to make sure to start right away is the research i do have the person which has 31 intellectual skill which means that will go really smoothly and really fast but he has no place to begin working now because i'm going to dig an underground village but don't want to waste a full day without any research being done i'm going to build just a small place here where my research is going to be able to be done and i think that just two might actually be enough i'll have to check so like this and it's going to be under a roof and then i just place a big roof for example and i'll need to pick these sticks from the environment let's see some more probably around here somewhere i should probably disable the trees so i can more easily spot them although i could just cut down some trees and i'll get sticks that way let's see nope 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 i don't see any all right so i'll just cut down some trees i cut down only the dead trees as i want the mature trees to keep the forest growing around me so i'm going to cut some of these dead trees away and this one here and this one here and that should provide all the sticks necessary to make that roof perhaps it was even enough uh, with the ones from the environment but we'll see quickly is that enough so they are going to make this and the workstation here so i'm going to start research right away and i'm also going to tell them to pick up all the red currants that are ripe because i want to start making stuff as soon as possible and i will need lots of food for this many villagers packaged meals are at 50 and pickled vegetables are at 50 so i do have plenty of food that i've set this game up with but they are going to eat through this very quickly so i need to make sure that i can start producing food and that's where the red current and all the mushrooms are gonna go into now what i usually like to do is to actually disable these package meals and not allow them to use them but actually cook my own food so that i can use these package meals as a last resort if i cannot find any food at some point during the playthrough so what i am going to probably need is another place where I can put another of these workstations, the campfire, and also put a roof over that. So it does have its full production. And this campfire is going to make food from all the mushrooms and the red currants that I am going to gather from the nearby environment. So mushrooms there, some mushrooms here, some more mushrooms here, and I think I saw yeah these are mature as well so plenty of mushrooms which i can gather right away and make lots of tasty meals for my villagers and they won't use up too many of the packaged meals until that's done i hope so i'm just going to leave one pile there's 10 enough there that should be a full meal for all of them and that is about it when it comes to the preparation i think you can let them do these jobs now this one is still equipping for some reason yeah they forgot the shields hey mate come back over here take this to the stockpile and you need to take this to the stockpile yeah they are not that smart you really sometimes do have to manage them i mean look at this how efficient is this you're picking these up into baskets and then just leaving them traveling to another spot and then coming back for the baskets now this is unacceptable and what i usually do although it requires quite a lot of micromanagement i click on these and then he picks it up and i pick on this one then he drops that one then he starts going for the other ones and amazingly this time he picked all of them sometimes they just drop one and then go over to the other and that really pisses me off so these people do need a place to sleep 
and unless I can dig enough for all of them to sleep up to, uh, what was it, 2300 hours? Yeah. So I have only 13 hours to dig enough space down there for them to have a place to sleep. So that's probably not going to happen. So what I can do and should do is simply place down a lot of beds already here and then they'll have a place to sleep until tomorrow when I should be able to dig enough down there to have more rooms and for them to be able to sleep underneath something. So yeah, they're just gonna spend the night over here in these beds. Okay, this is already done. I'm going to set it up to forever produce and then the person who is my researcher, that's gonna be his only thing to do for almost the entire let's play. Now it's time I pause the game and start planning the underneath area. Now, because over here I do have limestone, clay and iron, I do need to check how far does this go underground. So if I go over here with the mining tool, I can see that there is clay, there is limestone, there are iron nuggets, but up to here, no, nothing. So over here, it's all safe to dig, over here, over here and over here. So what I'm going to do is have this underground setup over here and nothing over here where there are resources. And I think that above here, there is also something, but that looks like just salt. So that doesn't go very deeply. Yeah, there is a little bit of salt down here as well, but that's about it. And over here, I'm safe to dig. Clay is all the way here. So in this area here, I want my underground base to be. And I just need to make sure that I dig this properly so but I mean I do have a lot of space so I can fix anything that I mix up or miss a tile or two left or right later on through the gameplay but just in case I make a too big of a mistake that I cannot fix I am going to save the game all right so the digging can start I'm going to start pretty much at the middle and that's where my entrance is gonna be so four of these and if I am not mistaken I am actually going to need more room for them to be able to walk and dig so probably another two so about six i think i'm going to let them dig that as i wait for this place to be done so i can start preparing meals and they have already started eating the packaged meals so i want to avoid too many of those being eaten this is also going to be done until you have well no forever amount let's go with the amount and let's say 30 meals 30 cooked meals and for that they'll use now a very good thing to do is to edit your production to disable wood to be used as the propellant as the fuel and then you can for example disable red currents if you want to make a craft wine which I don't really need to make so soon because I do have 30 ale but I will need to start making that soon so right now they have dug this down and I can place the first wooden stairs which are going to start here and go down and then I'm going to leave one spot here and then they'll start digging down. So actually I'm going to need another one of this torn down because I want to have a doorway here and then they'll dig three over here. So first of all they need to dig this one, then the one underneath it because when you're digging you're best off starting from here and then going towards the place where you're going to start your stairs rather than start here and then be unable to get to this third one so they're quite quick at building this i'm probably going to need a lot of wood for all the wooden beams that i'm going to need underneath when i start digging down and creating rooms so i'm going to make sure that they harvest a lot more of these dead trees was that a dead tree yeah that was a dead tree this one also do I have anything else close by? That's that tree here. And I think I saw a couple in the lower area here and here, here, here. Anything else? This one, this one here. And that should give them enough of jobs to do. So I'm already preparing stew, which means I can already disable this package meal pile. So they shouldn't be eating any of the package meals for the foreseeable future as long as I can gather enough mushrooms and red currants for me to cook these meals. Now I think I have more mushrooms which can be harvested here. Some of this but I don't need that right now. Let's disable the trees so I can see the mushrooms. More mushrooms here. This is ripening 
Any more mushrooms, mushrooms, mushrooms. Mature, mature. I think this is ripe. Yeah, it is. And that seems... Whoa, there was a few more bushes here. I didn't even notice them. Actually, a lot of bushes here. That's great. That is an excellent spot to pick up a lot of red currants. So I definitely chose a good spot for my starting base. And I think that's all the mushrooms that I can get right now. And I think the stockpile already has quite a considerable number. Now, they will go bad quickly. And this wood will also go bad quickly. So I need to make sure that I dig down and start providing them with a place to refrigerate their food soon. And what I could also do is switch over to a smaller stockpile. Maybe even already over here. So that it's close to when I dig down. Clear all. Then just go with food, with meals and raw food. The yeah, healing kits are already decomposing. And then cover this with some cheap tiles. Weaker floor, for example. And then just disable food and... Actually, stimulants? No, stimulants are the beer and ale, so leave that in here. What I want to leave out from here is herbs, simple healing kits, healing kits, advanced healing kits, and then put them over here on this stockpile so they don't decompose as quickly as they are decomposing on this ground. Although I think, yeah, this packaged meals thing, 16 days, yeah, that's gonna go bad too, so I should allow them. I think they are going to transfer, no, they want it as long as they are not allowed to touch it. So let's let them touch it, move it, and then disable it once again. This shouldn't decompose, yeah, 10 years. This isn't gonna decompose. This actually will decompose, so yeah. That's another thing I need to, I need to pause because I think I'm wasting some time. And time is precious in this game. Yeah, this isn't big enough anymore. So let's make this a little bit bigger. Add some more liquor floor. And then add the books in as well. So that should make sure... Will these things decompose? Yeah, the weaponry will. Yeah, that's annoying. That will decompose as well. Okay, so make this a lot bigger than I originally thought. And let it have... Not apparel, but weapons, that's for sure. Okay, don't let the time roll too much. Warfare and disable warfare from here. Warfare disabled. Okay, somebody needs to move this food over here and somebody needs to build that. Okay, we do have two holes here. So let's put in a third and a wooden door I can go here. And this does need to be covered. Limestone, not enough resource, of course. Wooden floor will do the trick. So let's put a wooden floor on top of this. I just need to actually hit this. Okay, from the door. Yeah, that's easier. So this is going to make this into a room as soon as the door and these top tiles are set. So this stockpile is going to keep this from decomposing too fast. And we can make food from the cabbage and the stuff that I've taken already from the environment. Move this to 30. This guy, I think he already did enough research for architecture. He did. Excellent. So we can already build those wooden beams. And that is the most important research at day one. So they are going to spend... What? Not enough resources? How did you run out? Was my mat off or did I make too many beds? I'm not sure what happened. Oh, right. They must have failed harvesting one of these. So yeah, I need to harvest this to finish this bed. So everyone has a bed. Who's idle? How could you possibly manage to be idle? Yeah. Crafty soldier. Not doing anything. Why? See your job schedule. Construction, tailoring, move, hunt, grow. Uh, they probably cut down all the trees and harvested all the mushrooms. So mushrooms have grown during this day, so I can get more. Here's some more. And... This probably ripened, it did, this one has not, this one has, these mushrooms have. And what else? This has ripened, this has ripened. That's about everything. There we go, all beds. They are going to get the negative mood modifier from sleeping outside. But for my build in this village, that was simply unavoidable. I am going to provide them with places to have leisure time in their second day so they 
don't provide so they aren't too problematic tomorrow and that's gonna have to be here this here this here meaning that some leisure time has to be put into their schedule but stacked like this so this person three hours then this person a little bit before so they don't take up the space on these shrines and the table actually i'm going to need several tables there's a lot of villagers in this one and that's stacked well enough one more table as i said so uh, about here although i do have 10 settlers perhaps yeah four they are stacked so that should suffice i think that was fine yeah <laughs> yeah they <laughs> are all unhappy slept outside yeah uncomfortable bed i know i know but okay so is this already a room it should be because it's closed off and it's dug down so another staircase can be placed right from that doorway cannot be a what no that sh yeah apparently because of the doorway being there i did not expect this i did something similar in another playthrough and that did not happen I think it's just the problem of the door being built before that thing so I'm going to actually destroy the door and then I think they won't have this problem I think I can just add the door afterwards so still can't be reached what exactly yeah this time they should be able to reach it I think I need to give them some more trees to cut and some more bushes to harvest that's ripe that's ripe mushrooms seem to be growing at an incredible pace oh damn it i think i forgot one thing yeah i didn't disable them from using this okay fixed now and yeah that's something i dislike when doing let's plays is that i can't really maximize the efficiency because i'm speaking as i'm playing trying to present the gameplay and then of course some things happen which are not planned or are forgotten which are planned and being somebody who likes his games to be well as perfect as i can make them that kind of rubs me the wrong way but i know a lot of you wanted to see me play and therefore you get it but as i mentioned it's not exactly the way i play when i am not speaking about how i'm playing and what am i doing so that is pretty much why I do have two separate kind of a let's plays, but not really let's plays. Well, this one is. The other one is just me showcasing how I play, but without the narration, as I am just showing you a recording of how I did that other village. It's also in the survival mode, because let's face it, it's more interesting that way. There we go. This is done. And that is why, as I said, you might not see the game that you will see me playing in that let's play without a voiceover as when I'm playing with a voiceover. So please do understand as I make these mistakes, they're not intentional, they're just because I'm not that experienced of a let's play player and I am okay with saying that. Now I think we are okay, it's 10 o'clock, they are angry because they didn't have any of this but they do now. Now I know this looks horrible and hectic and all the other adjectives that you might have said already while watching this but like i said they're gonna go down anyway to live underneath even though it's a nice weather and valley but that was my idea for this last play for them to actually live underground so they are going to have to start digging this a little bit faster i think a lot of them are doing other stuff so the persons who have high mining need to be prevented from doing other jobs as often as mining and that will have to ch oops not not this person the standing so no need to change so i have this person who's really good at mining and can learn it this one too this one has high but no possibility of learning this one has low but possibility of learning so i have four people dedicated to mining as of right now and i'm going to disable mining for the rest of them so they'll do their other jobs now this is that specializing which i talked about 
but that I am going to do as I play along so I don't spend half an hour in that schedule screen. Now over here this is the second one and this is just two levels down or is it really two levels it's just well we do have actually I need to bring back the door and close this down again there we go what what is the yeah that's not what I expected to see okay please explain to me what is the mail function right now okay I'll wait for the door to come up maybe that's what's the problem although <laughs> yeah. yeah sure that makes all the sense in the world it won't float but when you delete the other ones it will float okay anyway that's gonna work out so now we do have an entrance here and we need to go down one more level because I want to go three levels but actually the third level will be for the food and the second level will be for the folks so I can just dig this to the second level make room for them to sleep in and then get a place for food at about the same time so I'm going to move this one step away from here another door and they can start digging from this spot onwards now I'm just going to think about I could do places for them to live on the right side and the left side and then the food can be here in the middle in which case I can start digging from here because this is the door from here I'll start digging over here and here for the hallways and then have the rooms down here and here now should I have the hallway here and the rooms here or the hall yeah that would be actually a waste of space and time so no I'm going to what was it L yeah cancel that oops the wrong one mining was it M N uh, no actually it's N for mining there we go so we'll dig here and then we'll dig these over here and those will be the hallways for the entrances to the rooms so the rooms will be over here like this and then the place to eat will be over here and food to be kept so well in that case I need to actually elongate this further so like this I mean, uh, this is the reason why I'm going to save often, just to make sure I don't dig something in a pattern that doesn't actually match what I'm trying to achieve. Because I didn't really take a piece of paper and write this down, which I sometimes do. So when it comes to research, I do have 25 Chronicles available. I could start doing agriculture just to make sure that I have enough food to feed these folks. And that's what I'm going to start doing right now. So cabbage fields, flax fields, carrot fields, everything that could possibly be used. Let's go over here, for example. Yeah, you can go here. So let's say we start with something like this. Flex, actually, I won't... Oh, I should spend a lot of time on this. I'm going to need it for their clothing and stuff. But I think I'm going to move that to over here. And then the carrots, the beets, the barley... Yeah, I'm gonna need lots of that as well for all the beer. Let's say like this, double ones. Herbs, yeah, we'll need that too. And that leaves red current sharps, tall grass and trees. Trees I'll plant like so, just to bring back some of the environment that I'm going to scavenge for resources. So that should do it. That's a lot of work for them to do. I think the food is, yeah, the stockpile is pretty much almost full at the moment. I do have 72 stews. Okay, I think I went a little bit overboard with this because this is going to rot by the time they get to eating it, even though there's 10 of my people to eat this. So I will definitely need to build that second room here, which is going to be the food basement for the starters as fast as I can because this will definitely rot quicker than they can eat it. Yeah, I definitely went a little bit overboard with the food. That's another thing that, like I said, I'm going to do and make mistakes as I'm trying to do other stuff while something else is happening and I'm not following through with that. So day two is almost done 
and just like my other no voiceover let's play or better called playthrough I'm going to end this one at day two as well I think this is a nice spot to stop as this is all planned out to dig they do have plenty of food agriculture has started they do have leisure activities research I've done a lot and I will soon be able to unlock furniture to make those beds in their bed chambers I do need to get well I think I maybe have enough wood for all the stuff that I need to make down there and this one might just need a bit more of an extension so that real quickly and that's about it so I hope you're happy with this let's play it might not be the perfect gameplay that I would like to showcase but at least you get my narration and my voiceover over it thank you all for watching and stay tuned for more